Welcome to We Really Wonderful's video tutorial 16. The first 15 videos you've watched is make the legs and the body and the arms and it's the same pattern for our bunny, our elephant and our teddy the bear. Um, so now we're actually going to be starting teddy the bear's head. Um, so you can see the parts we've already made in preparation. So these are exactly the same as you followed the videos for the bunny rabbit and the elephants, it's the same one. Um, so this is Teddy the Bear's body and legs and there are his arms, so we'll just pop those out of the way now. And we'll make a start on his head. So we're going to have a look at his pattern, TQ. He's just so, such a sweet little bear and he looks really nice in other colours like pinks and blues. You can have a play around with him, um, but he looks nice in pink and cream. I've made one of those, he's lovely. So let's get started on Teddy the Bear's head. So we're going to have a look at the pattern and the pattern tells us to do a magic circle with six stitches. So we have already covered this before, which is brilliant. We're going to do an increase six times and then a double crochet increase. So we're going to complete that section and then I'm going to talk you through the section after that and leave you to carry on with the head for a while. So we're going to start with our magic circle. If you're a little unsure of it, obviously pop back to some of the earlier videos and you'll be able to see it in much closer detail. I'll move that out of the way just because sometimes the camera focuses on the wrong section and we want it to be nice and clear for our teddy head. So we've done our little slip knot and then we're going to do six double crochets into our magic circle. So one, oops. <laughs> I've already lost that look. See how easy it is to, to do that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. So we're going to close our magic circle. If you remember, we hold the bottom very tightly. Took on both of them. That one will pull one one. Ah, that one's pulling. So pulling the loop bigger and then once we've done that, as big as it will go, we then pull the end to close the circle. Now I'll pop our marker on straight away so that we don't forget. So that's going on our last stitch. There it is, that's gone on the stitch that we've just done, the last one to mark the end of our round. So our next round is increase times six so in each of our six stitches we're going to increase and if you remember we can count back if you're not sure so one two three four five six so there's our first stitch and that line there doesn't look like a proper stitch it's slightly smaller and tighter that is simply our our little snip dot snip knot that we started before we started our double crochet so we're going to go into the first double crochet and do two so this is all techniques that we have covered in the previous video, so I won't go really slowly. But if you do need to re-watch anything, you can watch um, our individual videos as well for our magic circle. And double crochet, so here we are. So we're, so we're just popping two double crochets in each stitch, and that'll take us up to our 12. And these are our last two, so number 11 and number 12. So there we are, our magic circle. So I'm just going to move our marker to the last stitch. So we will be moving our post-it note. So now you can see we've moved it and we're now up to line three double crochet and increase and we will be repeating that six times until we've got 18 stitches. So our double crochet and increase is, we'll pull that up slightly and we're in here, we're in this stitch. So this is our next clearly defined stitch here. So we've got one double crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to do an increase. So two stitches in there. Our next one is a single double crochet and then, then the next one we're doing two double crochets in there 
I'm just going to repeat that all of the way around. And don't forget to count your stitches at the end of the round just to make sure you have your 18. We'll do that at the end of this round just to recap. It's all just practice, so the more you do it and the more you see it, the more it helps it stick in your brain. <laughs> I don't know about you, but things seem to take longer to stick in my brain these days. So there we are, that's the end. And we're just going to move our marker first so we don't forget. I do that as soon as I finish the round, so I don't forget. So now let's count our Vs to check we have 18 stitches. And so I'll start with the one with the marker in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Change over the other nail now. Sixteen, seventeen, and that's number eighteen. And that one we're not counting because look, when you lift it up, you can see we've already worked into that stitch. So that is a stitch from the previous round. So we have 18 stitches. But said, so please do do this at the end of every round because it's so easy just to go wrong. And then you can't, you're not sure where you went wrong and you end up having to pull several rounds back. So we're up to, up to the end of line three. So what I'm going to do is talk you through the next few rows, next few rounds and then leave you to complete um, a little bit further ahead. So we're going to look at the next few rounds, which are number four. We're going to do two double crochets and increase. So that'll be double crochet, double crochet, increase. And then you'll repeat that right the way around until you've got 24 stitches. Round five is three double crochets, then an increase. So double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, increase all the way around. Now that line six is a little bit different, so I'm going to talk you through this one. Now instead of doing four double crochets and an increase, which is what you'd expect with this next round, which takes us to 36, we're actually staggering it a little bit. Now the reason for this is if we're keeping this pattern with Teddy's head being round, um, what we sometimes find is it looks a little bit like a hexagon. Um, we don't want a hexagon a Teddy the Bear's head. It just looks a little bit odd. You can normally push it out of shape if you do end up with that, but it's just not a cool look for a teddy bear, is it? A hexagon. So all this is doing, instead of keeping in the same pattern, which is giving us more flat, six flat sides, we're going to break that up. So all we're doing, we're going to start in the middle. So we're doing two double crochets and an increase. And then we're doing four double crochets and an increase five times. And then at the end, we're just going to do our other two double crochets. So what we've done is, instead of doing four double crochets increase, we've split that. So you've got two here, two there, and there's your increase. So we've kind of split it so that they're not all forming points. So the increases aren't all together. So it's exactly the same really, but that's the reason for that. So a lot of people look at that and think, oh my goodness, I know what that means. It's followable crochet and an increase, which you can do that, but you may have that hexagon shaped head. So just do double crochet, double crochet, increase. And then the one, the instruction in brackets, which is, Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, increase. And you're doing the, repeating that part five times. And then you, you should have two stitches left, which are just two plain double crochets. Sorry if, I, if you feel I'm explaining it too much. But I like to just try and make sure it's really clear if you're struggling with it. Um, then carry on. So you're going to have five double crochets and increase. And then just continue because it's in exactly the same way. And what we're going to do is take that right the way up to when we're stuffing the head at the end of line 15. So if you can continue and do line 15, so finish there and then begin to stuff the head quite firmly, moulding it into shape. This is the finished shape we're going to end up with. So continue to the end of line 15. And I'll meet you back here. I will show you the stuff in as well so that you can see that. And then we'll continue from there in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.